Okay. Went to my local Dollar Tree to try to find some stuff. And then I went to another Dollar Tree. So this is a two Dollar Tree haul. It's small. But you just, it's just not much on the shelves right now. I picked up some V05 strawberry shampoo and conditioner for the girls to play with. That's the girls. Alright. I needed toothpaste. There is no toothpaste in any of the Dollar Trees around me. But there was some toothbrushes. I found these at one Dollar Tree. Then I found these at another Dollar Tree. I like these a lot. They have the little cases on them. Great for travel and everything. Okay. Having girls, you gotta have some detangler. There wasn't very many of these on the, the shelf neither. I was only able to find two. One at a time. Um, razors. I suffer from um, PCOS. So, I have hair. Gotta have razors to shave it. I did do the electrolysis for um, four months. Absolutely love it. I think it's worth the money. Um, it was painless. It made it go away for a whole month almost. But the problem is this virus happened. Lost my job. Couldn't afford to pay my payments. The payments was $125 a month. It's almost a $3,000 process. But it's um, after you pay that money, it's guaranteed for the rest of your life. Picked up some witch hazel. Love this stuff cleans I this is what I clean my face right before I go to bed so I don't have pimples still waiting on my shed I finally found these makeup brushes that wandering dreamer 555 was uh, doing she uses these for crafts to make her cards I thought that was really cool um, so I picked me up three I really don't see these being good for actually putting makeup on. They may be, but I think they would be awesome to do to make the cards, which Katie and I do like to do. We like to mess around with the cards. And ladies, work with me. Katie's into makeup. She does. She likes doing stuff called cosplay, and she's just that girl comes out looking like a clown sometimes. I'm not. I'm like. What have you done? <laughs> Alright. I picked this up for um, me and Nora. Her hair is very fine like mine. And oh, this humidity makes it look, um, gets it all over. But this is Salon Selectives Frizz Control Leave-In Smoothing. It's got Argar, Argon Oil from Morocco. I figured I'd give it a try. Ingredients is not too terribly bad. There is a couple of things I need to look up in here because I have no clue what they are. But I just want to make sure that it doesn't have that chemical that makes your hair fall out. That's a huge problem here lately. Uh, with a lot of um, shampoos and stuff, it's carrying um, a chemical that makes literally makes your hair fall out. So, I found some eye care. It's allergy season for me. My eyes, my nasal, I'm sorry, these are nasal care. I um, already opened up the eye care and put them in my purse and car. But I did get two eye cares and I got two nasal for a buck for nasal. And it's that wonderful um, spritz cap that everyone loves. Well, I love. Gets up in there and does, does its job. Come on, don't tell me you got childproof cap on this thing. There we go. It's got childproof cap. Yep. And of course you gotta take this off. You know, they keep you from keep kids from using it, but you know what? Let's see what's in it.
There's nothing in here that will make them sick. Nothing in here. But anyway, it's supposed to be up to 12 hour um, relief. We shall see. I go through a lot of nasal spray during the fall season. And Alright. Dish soap. I need it. Um, I normally do a plant based dish soap. But I needed this to put into my container for my gardening spray. I'm getting hit with um, little beetles that's eating my cabbage. And everybody says to get the Dawn. So I'm going to give the Dawn a try. Then I picked up um, Daily Defense Moisturizer Argon uh, Conditioner. I already have the shampoo, but I couldn't find the conditioner. And I'm, not, I'm this type of person I won't use the shampoo until I you know, have the conditioner. I was only able to get one. Couldn't find a second. I normally go through two bottles of conditioner. Again, hair frizzes. I need that conditioner. And for my preps, I just picked up another bag of um, oatmeal. Dollar Tree has a lot of these left. And then I finally found some popcorn kernels. It was only three bags. Another lady uh, grabbed two bags right when I was grabbing the one bag. So I was, I was like, well, hoping she wasn't going to argue with me about grabbing one bag. I can't say I blame her, you know. Get what you can. I went to um, Walmart to get breakfast foods. Walmart is, I don't know what is going on with Walmart, but there was no meats, no breakfast uh, sausages or anything like that. My girls like those little sausage links. That's what they want for their breakfast. They don't like a whole lot of other stuff, except for when I make the oatmeal, because I cut up apples and put a little apples, brown sugar, and cinnamon in it, and they will gobble that up. It's a sweet item. They'll go through it. Since I couldn't find what I was looking for, I went and looked at the canned meat area. Slim pickings. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all better get what you can. I picked up four of the sweet and spicy uh, great value tuna love these I actually eat two at a time for my um, high protein diet with my um, going backpacking and hiking and stuff these are great to go in your backpack there's lots of places here where I live Columbia has this awesome wildlife uh, refuge that you can go uh, it's right at their um, rest area beautiful rest area uh, they have a lovely walk that you can go back through there. I like going back through there. But bring your osprey. Bring whatever you got to bring. Your parents on me. I don't see none though. Bring whatever you got to bring because mosquitoes are deaf down here. They are horrible. Um, went to Dollar General. Their shelves are getting bare too. I just picked up two of these. One's open somewhere around here. Um, anyway, that's what I got from Dollar General. My local food line. Picked up two of these. I don't know why it looks backwards on the, the screen. I don't know how to fix that. Anyway, two of these. $7. $6.99 a pound. And then I picked up one of these. I have not tried this. Genie O Taco Seasoning Turkey Sausage. This was on clearance for $3.29. So I just got the one. I'm going to cook this up. I'm going to make spaghetti with this. I love taco meat. I've never tried sausage as a taco meat. It's leaking. I'm going to get, um, get that cooking. I'm waiting for my shed to come first. Okay, that's all I've gotten this week for preps because the stores are getting slim pickings in my area and it's a good drive for me where I work at is an hour and 18 minute drive I go all the way to the beach I work at Avalon Pier I help do the cooking and props and stuff in there and I don't work the night shifts so if you're looking to meet me you better come in the mornings that's where I'm at and sometimes you'll see me sitting right on the pier enjoying the ocean i mean it's just so peaceful <clears throat> i love it um 
I have had to cut back my hours a lot because of the kids. Every time I go to work, I'm being called to come pick them up because they sneezed. Four, automatic 14-day um, quarantine. Uh, first week of school, Katie faked sick, told them that she couldn't taste nothing. The nurse freaked out, cussed me. I mean, she cussed me and called me an unfit parent because I sent my kids sick to school. Oh, my God, y'all. Okay, one sec. She was she watched a video on YouTube where the kids are posting how to get out of school and telling you uh, uh, telling them what to say to get out of school. All that nurse did was piss me off to the point that I recorded the conversation and turned it in. What the hell was that? I don't know. Noisy. Anyway, she got out of school for 14 days. As soon as I get her back into school after doing the testing and everything, three days later, she gets sick with a head cold. This time she was actually sick, and I kept her home. Her and Nora both were running fevers. I kept both of them home and let the schools know that they were both sick another 14 days out of school then I had to um, get them both tested for the virus again I, t I told them I said I followed the protocol my kid the, the first month of school they I think they got five days in the school because of the, the protocol that they're doing with school stuff but oh I did get this I forgot to show this coconut oil MCT. I love this one. I mix it in my coffee every day. It is wonderful. Great for your gut. Great for your liver. Gotta have that. Um, I need to go outside and find out what's going on. There's too many people coming down this road. I live on a very private road. It shouldn't be this busy. And like I said, I'm waiting for the man to bring me my shed. I got a lot of organizing to do. I got stuff stuck everywhere there's not much storage in the camper but I'm gonna tell you right now I have found place to stick things I sent a video to my friend um, um, granny's place I said see where it, see what chaotic mess I got going on right now she's she's like yeah <laughs> so I'm getting a lot of stuff done um, get what I can with my preps and when I travel I got a lot of appointments between me and Katie we go we're going back and forth to Greenville to the doctor she's um she's been diagnosed with um Hashimoto's um they've tested her for so, a few other things thank god she don't have that problem um but it's um they thought she was allergic to um wheat gluten um celiac I think it's what's called celiac disease they tested her for that. I think so far she's good on that, so she can have breads. She's um, not a little girl anymore, unfortunately. It's... <sighs> My babies are growing up too fast. I'm, I'm serious. They, they're just growing up too fast. Look at that. Get out of here, fly. Go, go, go find professional monkey and bite him. Eat his flesh. <laughs> it's another YouTuber I like watching. He's funny. Um, so, I'm going to end it here because I'm at 15 minutes and the fly is wanting to get me. And I will chat with you guys later. Y'all have a safe and blessed uh, week. God bless you all.